After checking the green canopy cover and crop transpiration, the next simulation result to check is the above ground biomass production. Since we checked the transpiration, the biomass water productivity is a conservative crop parameter, as well as the threshold for the cold stress coefficient affecting biomass, the simulated biomass is likely to be correct already. So if there is a mismatch between the observed and the simulated biomass, most likely errors occur during the collection of data in the field. So we need to check the quality of field data or the mismatch can be due to processes which are not simulated by AquaCrop. And then we have to see how we can consider them. Above ground biomass samples are collected in the field. It is important to collect representative samples. The location and also the size of the sampling areas should be carefully selected. When you have large heterogeneity in the field, you might need to take several samples at different locations. The collected samples are put in a well-ventilated oven at 65 degrees for 48 hours. As such, we obtain the dry mass of the field samples. Now, before entering this data in AquaCrop, we need to estimate also losses of biomass in the field because biomass might be removed by wind or animals. So we have to make an estimate and add it to the determined dry above ground biomass. Observed biomass data can be stored in a field data file as we have shown before. In a field data file, I have observed data, which I'm going to use now to evaluate my simulations. I click on the Run button and run my simulation. Since I have field data, I can now use it to evaluate my simulated biomass. I click here on biomass and in green I find the simulated biomass and in black the observed data. I can look at the statistics and the statistical indicators shows me the goodness of fit between observed and simulated data. So in AquaCrop we can check the simulated dry above ground biomass with the help of some statistical indicators. If there is still a poor fit between observed and simulated biomass, then maybe we need to consider losses of the biomass by processes which are not simulated in aquacrop. Pests and diseases, damages by hailstorms. Aquacrop offers us the possibility to update the simulation during the run if such calamity occurs. Here we see the simulation result in which a calamity was not considered. Now we know that on the 14th of July there was a huge hailstorm destroying part of the canopy cover. So I run my simulation again till that day and then I use the update button to correct the canopy cover which was reduced by 20% and also the biomass produced so far was reduced by 20%. I return to my simulation result and now continue my simulation with the updated CC and biomass production. And at the end I get maybe a better estimate of the final yield since I consider the hailstorm. The final check is for the yield. So far we have checked the canopy cover, the soil water balance, the transpiration and the simulated biomass. Now yield is obtained 
by multiplying the simulated biomass with a reference harvest index and a multiplier. Now this multiplier will increase or decrease the harvest index, but this is affected by conservative crop parameters and of course it will work well if the soil water balance is properly checked. If now the observed yield is still different from the simulated yield, then we might need to alter the reference harvest index as specified in the crop file.